Hello, David Brennan with Case IH. Hey, I want to spend just a minute going through a new feature on our Pro 1200 Planner software with the 2000 series planner attached to uh, an AFS Connect Magnum or Steiger tractor. So to get into that wizard, we're going to come into our main menu on our universal terminal screen and I'll hit that three bar menu. That's going to step me into a planner setup wizard. Now this is going to be a great wizard to ensure that we've got the configuration set properly on that planner. Now we don't have to do this every single pass or every different field, but we do want to do it uh, on pre-season startup. So it's going to walk me through a page confirming that I've got the right downforce selection or downforce control system selected, bulk fill, all of my planner features down through. Now if you add a feature to your planner, you will need to go through this process as well. But I'm confirming that the right selections are turned on. If you select 2020 to have that installed to control the planner, that will change the layout on the run screens on the Universal Terminal. So let's go ahead and keep walking through. It's going to have us confirm our active work condition. In this particular case, I've got uh, corn selected right and left side, meaning I'm going to plant two different varieties. One on the left side, one on the right hand side. I've got my work condition. Again, the green bar across the top of those blue boxes indicates that's selected. So again, right and left side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ask me if I want to do split row. I've got a 2150S planter behind me, and so I've got that split row at this point in time um, uh, disengaged so that I, I've, I've got it planting in 30 inch configuration, or typically what we call just a corn row. It's going to have me confirm uh, the application control channel for seed. If I have liquid installed, I will see that as well. If I get into trouble, I can come in and uh, hit the uh, question mark up there and that will help me understand what's, uh, what's, how that planner is configured. If there's a problem with it, um, it will help me kind of highlight what's going on. Uh, I keep checking out my measurements, uh, walking through. Anytime you see a bar distance, that is a number uh, that's not normal, right? Not a normal measurement from our drop-in to our seed application point. Uh, we want to make sure that um, we, we, we address that. It, they are published in the operator's manual, but that information should be, be pre-populated by planner configuration. I come into seed rows. I've got those disengaged like we talked about. I've got my seed drive split like we talked about as well with my different default rates set in there. My default rates for vacuum, bulk fill, and my seed product delay. I confirm speed selection. That should be right. So I've got that at tractor ISO speed. And at that point in time, I've completed the wizard setup and I would hit save. All right. So that is the wizard walkthrough on a, a, a AFS Pro 1200 when a 2000 series planner is connected. For more information, visit your local Case IH dealer or visit caseih.com. Thank you.